decided I'm going to try some carrots. It's a little bit late in the season for them, but they're little ones. So I'm going to see if I can get something out of them because admittedly I've neglected the carrot bed this year. I threw some in earlier on. They germinated. I thinned them out because they just um, germinated in clumps. But then nothing else germinated. And now it looks like this. So I'm going to see if I can get something from it. Beautiful, nice Friday night up in the uh, garden with my glass of wine. Um, yeah, very happy. It's very windy, but don't mind that. Took my hat off, even though it's windy, it's getting a bit warm. Look what I have teeny tiny carrot, which I'm going to give to Benjamin.
So this is a new one on me. Putting um, wood down on top of your carrot seeds because they're notoriously difficult to germinate. Um, and apparently it keeps in the moisture um, and you get more of a good um, rate of germination with them. So I'll see if that works. I've got some that are uncovered because I can't do rows where there's already carrots in. Um, but yeah, that'll be interesting to see how well that works because yeah, carrots are notoriously difficult to germinate and they take forever too. So if you're new to growing carrots, when you think that nothing's going to happen, wait a bit longer then wait a bit longer again and then wait what feels like an eternity again and then eventually you might get something is eventually how carrots work and then I use cane and a small trellis over the top as a cat deterrent because our cat and the farm cats in the farm behind us just see it as one giant litter tray so if I do just that it's like the flimsiest of coverings, but do they just see something in there and don't bother going in? So, it seems to do the job. Also, I don't need to deter um, carrot fly because it's so raised off the ground, so carrot fly can only fly like something like a metre or something like that. Um, so, this is too high for them to get at the carrots, but if you're doing them lower, or if I was doing it in here, I would need to put like EnviroMesh or something over it to stop the carrot fly getting to them. Just been out here um, putting the birds away and having a really good hose down and everything. Um, sometimes I'll go around and collect all the droppings for the plants, but um, other times I'm lazy and if I'm watering the garden anyway, I'll just hose it into the ground. It's good for the grass anyway, but um, yeah, I noticed teeny tiny potential for a pumpkin and some very teeny tiny um, violet potted beans um, and uh, some blotty beans as well so I'll show you. And another one. They're very very small. They're crown prints so they should be a reasonable size um, and they're for eating but um, yeah I felt very stupidly excited when I saw them. Hello, I um just been spotting that the potatoes I did last week um, have got sprouts up already, so that's good. Um, so they're just breaking the surface on a couple. So I think what I'm going to do is leave it maybe a day or two more, and then I will put some more compost um, on those. 